noise. <laughs> you know, I just started the recording at that right there as well. <laughs> what? <laughs> sorry. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Are we going to behave, children? <laughs> yes. No. Is no. That a, yeah, I couldn't hear you. I have to lower down this so my feedback doesn't go into my microphone. Is that a yes? We'll cooperate. I'm cooperating. Thank you. I know another person's cooperating that has a Patrick Star avatar, so thank you. I'm going back to buy more of though. Alright, bye. Alright. I'm about to do the thing. So, quiet, everybody. Listen to teacher. No. Alright, I'm muting Skype on my speakers. Alright, one second. You will be brought back when I'm done. Alright, so, top five for Wii U games. The Wii U is dead and gone, pretty much. The Switch is on its way. So, we have a, a round table, I guess, of sorts, for a top five. We're going to each give our top fives. Uh, links are down in the description below. I probably already mentioned that in a post-commentated intro, but I'm saying it anyway. Uh, currently, if you're watching on my end, I am joined by... Later Gator to you, Green Cobras Gaming, and Pancake Armor Man, and for their videos, if they didn't already do a pre-recorded intro, now they can introduce themselves. <laughs> I might probably off the quiet for a moment there. Well, I also ah. added the Skype thing on mute so nobody would interrupt me. I saw you, Pancake, speaking. All right, go. Yeah, Intr I introduce, have. introduce, introduce. Before this lasts like seven hours. <laughs> yeah. Hello everybody, my name is Lady Gear to you. Um, at the time this video is being released, I'm towards the end of The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker at Steam, but I'm going to be starting some new Let's Plays soon, one of which is Luigi's Mess and Dark Moon, and the other is a secret. Ooh, special. Today I'm joined by... Green Cobra's Gaming. And nobody else. Yep, that's just us. That's us three. Hey, hey, don't exclude me. <laughs> well, I mean, sorry, it's just... Just that. Uh, it was probably eating all the ago. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna bother introducing myself now. It's Shaka Conroy, everybody. Yeah. yeah it's Conroy. Yeah. Yes. So let's let so let's make Chugga Conroy go first on the top five list of Wii U games. No, I'm not going I'm not going first. Okay, then I'll start it. So we're starting at number five and working our way down. As I'm being unprofessional and don't even have my own top five open. One moment, please. Hang on. One second. One second. Hang on. Okay. One second, everybody. Be patient. Be patient, everyone. For me, my number five Wii U game goes to Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U. Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U and 3DS, but of course it's a Wii U game, so it's included. Uh, Smash 4, as some other people would probably call it, is probably, if not the greatest Smash game currently of all time. We'll have to see if they port it over to the Switch and if they add extra stuff, but the definitive version, in my opinion, of... Lady Green Cobra's Gaming, I saw that. Stop speaking while I'm speaking. I will mute Skype. <laughs> I never talked. I heard that yeah. I saw the thing go off. Anyway, Smash Bros. I, I, heard, I heard him. He only took a he only took a deep breath. Oh, well. <laughs> anyway, Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U. In my opinion, the definitive Smash Bros. 4 game. Uh... And, yeah, a pretty good roster, lots of returning characters that we all know and love, maybe some not love in some cases, but... And a plenty, a plethora of new characters to the series, such as Shulk, uh, Pac-Man, and others, Bayonetta, uh, Cloud, oh my god, Cloud, everybody freaked out at Cloud, mostly. 
So, Smash 4, Smash for the Wii U, in my opinion, the definitive Smash Brothers so far yet, and that is why it's number 5. It just barely made there, but it's still number 5. I had to give it some love. Yeah, I really enjoyed uh, Smash Brothers uh, 4. It's not on my list or anything like that, um, but... It's still one of my favorite uh, multiplayer games on there. Um, I really love the new characters. Um, Shulk, Palutena, Bayonetta, and um, Cloud are my favorites in the game um, because I love the Chronicles. Chronicles. Um, Palutena is awesome, Bayonetta is awesome, and it's freaking Cloud. Link and Cloud are in the same video game together. And, um, well, and one final thing, I find it hilarious that the Wii U got an AC Midgard before the PlayStation ever did. That's, just, that's hilarious, considering how well, how long people have been wanting an HD Final Fantasy VII. Yep. Yep. Who wants to share their number five next? I'll go. Uh, I'll go. Uh, yeah, my number, my number five is... Twilight Princess HD, which is which is the HD version of the Twilight Princess for the GameCube and the Wii, and 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 Twilight Princess is a pretty fun game. I mean, part of the reasons on there is just I know it's technically just an HD port, not really. Well, it is a Wii U game, but there's an HD port of the game, which is why it's only number five on here and everything. And part of the reason it's only on this list because. I don't, I mean, I don't have that many Wii U games. <laughs> I mean, I do have more than five Wii U games, but, like, some of them just haven't played as much as others and stuff like that, which some of those are not on there because of, of that reason, but Twilight Princess also was, is also, was my first Zelda game I ever played and everything. And, uh, and, and, like, and because the only two Zelda games I played are Twilight, Twilight Princess and Ocarina of Time. And the reason I put Twilight Princess of Ocarina in Time is, well, both the games I played a little bit of, but of what I of what I played of both of them, I prefer Twilight Princess of Ocarina in Time of what I played, and everything. So, so yeah, and I mean I'm not a big Zelda fan, so which is also the reason why it's number five and all that, and that's and that plus I need to play just more of the game and everything. So, probably what it was originally going to be number four, but. But I played quite a bit more of four recently, so, which was number five, which is which is why it's num that one next one's gonna be you number know, four instead of number five because of that because I played that game a little bit more. And when I first did the list, I barely started playing that game. So, so now and that's pretty much the reason why Twilight Princess is number five. Next up. Right, so um, we're, we're all not going to talk about those games as well, or um, no? We'll just do just. I mean, you can maybe talk a bit, talk about it. If it's not on your top five, you maybe can if you want to. If it's not on your top five, yeah, because if we're not going to, then I'm going to feel like a jerk for talking about my Smash Brothers four opinions. Yeah. No, that's fine. We should have set the rules before we started recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah there should be a rule. <laughs> Yeah, um, should, there should be a rule where if it's not on your top five, if it's not if the game that one of us mentions is, not, is on our top five, that's not on your top five at all. You can talk about the game, but only if it's not and if it's not on your top five. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Well, the reason Twilight Princess isn't on mine is because spoiler alert is because I don't own it. So <laughs> you're an evil man. Hey, I, mean, I was just be... in it for the amiibo, and luckily they made it separate. Nah. <laughs> I mean, there's going to be other games on this list that I don't have, so that you guys have. Um, I guess I'll go first with my number five. I, I mean, next with my number five, that's okay with anybody. Yeah, it's fun. All right. Uh, my number five was Pikmin 3, because <laughs> Pikmin 3 uh, was, well... <laughs> Like kind of like the second Wii U game I ever owned, and it's a really really fun game, and it has a lot of replayability, and it is uh it is also a challenging game, um, 
when trying to get all the fruit and stuff, and the characters are the characters are charming, and it's just a charming game, and it's really it's a really good game. That's all I really have to say. Okay, I haven't played that. Haven't played it, so I can't really say that much about it. It's a uh, right. It's a Nintendo Select, so it's only twenty dollars now. Not that bad. Yeah. But- so I just still haven't still haven't played it even even I mean just haven't played it. <laughs> well, me neither. But well, I played the demo one time, but it was pretty fun. Mm. I mean, I never played Pikmin, so like any of the any of the any of the Pikmin games I've not played, but might be a game I might try out someday or game series if it's not the third one. Yeah, the, the nice thing about Pikmin 3 is that you don't need to play the other ones to know what's going on, because it's a new cast of characters uh, with some older ones returning late in the game. Nice. Um, I've got to play that game, so I have a lot to say, but bottom line is, I love it. One of my favorite uses of the gamepad, but it's not on my list. Alright, so uh, my number five would be Xenoblade Chronicles X. Um... I was really looking forward to this game because I love the original and I really love the fact that it's really open. You can pretty much go wherever you want at any time. The only real limitations are whether or not you have your, um, oh god, what are those robots called? Um, those dolls. Um, whether or not you have the doll suits to fly around with and the tough enemies that are scattered across the world. Um, I, I really love the game and, um, uh, but what I really like about this one compared to the original was the fact that it kind of has like a Majora's Mask thing where um, the story um, gets like three times uh, bigger than them just going through it normally if you talk to all the characters and take into side quests. Okay. Yeah, Xenoblade is a series I've meant to try to get into, but uh, I haven't really gotten into it quite yet. I have uh, Chronicles on... Uh, the virtual console slash not virtual console on the Wii U so I'll probably try playing through that. It's going to take a long time I know, uh, but I'll try gradually playing through that and if I like it enough, maybe I'll try out X eventually. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty much the same, but I actually have a physical copy of of Xenoblade Chronicles for the Wii it was pretty nice that I got but I need need to try to maybe try to play it some more and See if I like the game or not. And because, yeah. I hear, because I hear it's a really good game, just need to, p- to play it. <laughs> and yeah, try, it and try it out. Yeah, the thing about the Zambler games is that they are really, really long. <laughs> yeah, I know. I heard that. Mm-hmm. Do you have any other, th- uh, other thoughts, Pancake? Well, um... I've actually never played the Xenoblade series, but I really, really want to because I love RPGs, and I, I have seen gameplay of the first one, but and I feel like that it's a kind of RPG I'll love, and I was really excited when they announced Xenoblade Chronicles X, but I just never bothered to pick it up, but maybe one day I will. Yeah, I pretty much just owned the game and may like played like the very, very, be- very, very beginning of of Xenoblade Chronicles. Yeah. Like, really the opening cutscene and like some like first battle thing and everything. Alright, so is that it for everyone's thoughts on the top fives? Any other additional thoughts before we move on? Nope. T- tune in next week for our top four. <laughs> <laughs> no. Top four. Anyway. And then top three. The following week, <laughs> followed by top two and top one, and then top zero. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so a bit of behind-the-scenes live stuff. I guess we'll just use the same order we just did for throughout the rest of it. So me, uh, Brandon, Pancake, and then Later Gator to you. Okay. All Why right. don't I get a first name? <laughs> <laughs> Joey, Justin, whatever you prefer. Pad J, crazy kids. Anyway... <laughs> anyway, uh, moving on to number fours, we'll start with mine, obviously, because we're going to go in the same order. Uh, 
Uh, my number four, also on the 3DS, just actually recently within like the last month or so, depending on when they upload theirs, I'll try uploading it the day the Switch comes out, hopefully. Anyway, uh, so, my number four is Yoshi's Woolly World, the original Wii U game. Um, I really enjoyed playing through Woolly World, it reminded me so much of uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn, obviously because it's from the same company, good feel. Um, since then I've gone back to play Epic Yarn as well. Um, I still need to finish Woolly World, and then I need to finish Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World, but still we're talking about the Wii U version. Um, I really enjoyed playing it. It's just, the music's amazing, the level design is clever, um, it's fun seeing all the amiibo patterns, especially for me, because I'm an amiibo-holic, I have over 100 figures, so <laughs> it's fun to <laughs> actually... Uh, see a lot of these extra patterns for Yoshi. It's just a really fun game in general, and it's just, like, something you can sit back and relax and play. Um, so that's why Yoshi, uh, Yoshi's Woolly World is on my list at number four. Okay, yeah, um, but yeah, I want to try that game out someday, like, might try, that's one of the games I might try out. I mean, this, I have a hu really huge, giant list that I just want, of games I just want to try out someday, and that's probably one of them I might try out someday. At least, well, at least a Yoshi-type game. If, if it's not Woolly World, at least some Yoshi-type of game. Mm -hmm. But then, but anyway, but anyway, my number four, well, I see, do you guys want to say anything about about his? I was just about to say, nobody else had any thoughts on Woolly World? Wow, okay. I yeah, I'm not yeah, alone. Yeah, I know. Did, I, did anyone else? World, I have thoughts on the game. Yeah, me too. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. So, yeah, I'll say my thoughts. So, Yoshi's World World is a very beautiful game, and it is really relaxing. Um, I like it a lot, but it's well, it's not really the best Wii U game or anything. But it is really beautiful and relaxing, and it's a really good game to play if you're really stressed out and you just need a stress reliever. Just put in Yoshi's Woolly World, and then you'll be feeling unstressed. And that's why I really like the game. Great. Yeah. I have a lot of um, fond memories with Yoshi's Woolly World because uh, my sister and I played through, that, through the entire game 100%. Um, and I just, I really love pretty much everything about that game. The yard style looks incredible in HD, the um, music is fantastic. I love the final boss. It is one of my favorites in gaming. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, I All agree. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, now for my number four. Mm -hmm. And it is Shovel Knight. Which is the only which is the only it which is the only uh, multi-platform game on on this list of um, of my list of top five. Only the only uh, multi-platform game because all the other ones are port or or other or like or like my PS One was a port or and then the rest of them are um, Wii U exclusives. So yeah, the Shovel Knight's the only one that's multi-platformed. And I was gonna say this, this game Shovel Knight's really great just n nice thing about the music is so awesome like the music the game that's the whole shovel knight soundtrack and music is so nice to listen to and everything when, and also the difficulty is pretty pretty challenging at times um well the level design like you know being a retro style type of game it's also fun, fun to play and different different compared because can, if because if it's if you're so used to like modern games, it's just so different though because it's kind of more retro style. But it does have some um, modern day elements to games and everything. But yeah, but yeah, it's, it's, and, it's, and it's pretty interesting too and everything. Just really, really pretty fun game to play, even though it can be challenging and everything. And but you, like like it's like like how number five was number four. With the re another reason why it's only number four, not not higher, was was the, uh, once again how much I played the of the game, which is why it's number four instead of number five because I played a little bit more of it before, like once after I created the originally created the list. So, 
But yeah, that's my number four. Shovel Knight. I like Shovel Knight. I just need to play it again. I need, I need to finish the main campaign. I stuck on like the second to last uh, night boss. Mm -hmm. Farther than me, so. <laughs> yeah, those last couple of levels are brutal. Yeah, yeah it's a pretty challenging game. The thing about at, at Shovel times. Knight, the thing about Shovel Knight for me at least, is it takes me a while to get used to good to, to the controls. Oh, the yeah. Game. oh yeah, yeah. The controls, especially using like the gamepad, just kind of feels kind of strange that when starting and everything. Especially when you're first starting the game, the controls do feel kind of strange. Yeah, yeah especially it, when you play the it's like night campaign. But, yeah. Yeah, and it, you know, I would like Shovel Knight more if the controls were a little less strange on the gamepad. But yeah. I and, I, I and I use the gamepad to play it, so yeah, the controls do, f which is probably why why I think it's kind of challenging. Well, well, at least when using the gamepad. Yeah. Um, I pretty like Shovel Knight. I've beaten it one hundred percent on my own time. I've played around with Plague of with the Plague of Shadows campaign a little bit, but I have not really that far into that one. Um. I like the difficulty in it because um, it's it has it's not like that very nice balance between like um, playing Yoshi's Wood World and um, um, like play, like Yoshi's Yossi, Wood World DC and uh, Splatoon multiplayer tower control on part macro hard. <laughs> um, so uh, it's a fun game. I like the gamepad integration, um, but um, the difficulty can be a little much sometimes. Yeah. But in this day and age, it's not exactly a bad thing. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes having difficult games or challenge or levels and stuff can be really fun, though. But sometimes it's frustrating, though, to, when p trying to complete it, though. Yep. Um, so I guess I'll go to my number four. My number four is the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Um, the Binding of Isaac Rebirth was originally released on PC, but was re-released onto the Wii U eShop, and when, when I first played it, I didn't expect much of it, uh, because I didn't really care for PC games, um, but when I played it on the Wii U, um, it was surprisingly amazing, and I liked the fact how they use the Bivolic characters in the game, and their abilities, um, like Isaac, it, and you know, just really good characters and really challenging enemies, too. The game is really hard. But when you beat the game the first time, it, you feel like you've feel like you been rewarded just by the fact you beat the game. And then you have to do it 700 other times. Mm. So it's basically Undertale. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, I have, um, I have the original on Steam. I bought it when it was on sale one time, and then I, like, never touched it, so that's my experience with Binding of Isaac. Um, but I've heard many good things about it. I just need to play it. Yeah, for me, I don't even own it. I haven't played it or owned it, but I heard pretty good things about it. It's why I never played it or own it. I don't have much to say about this game, honestly. I know nothing about Binding of Isaac. Same. I don't know anything that much about it. Besides, uh, I heard, besides, I heard, besides, I heard it's pretty good. You're all evil people for not playing it. You should play it. Go to your eShop right now and download it. <laughs> well, if that's the case, you're evil for um, not playing the, the game that's on line number four. Uh, line number four is uh, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Surprise, surprise. I know I'm a big fanboy of this mm -hmm. game. So... When I'm playing Super Mario 3D World, I'm, I feel like I'm a m minority of saying this, but I wasn't really all that big of a fan of it. I, I like the game, it's just that it doesn't really feel like it should be a home console game. But what I really loved were the Captain Tell bubbles, because those felt more unique and fresh compared to the rest of the game. And then they made a full game about um, around that one mechanic, and I love it. So... Uh, needless to say, I was excited when James Rose was doing his last play of it, and then when I was doing that one of the subscriber special, um, Captain Toad won 
the results for which game I'd be doing at that time, and it, it turned into one of my favorite best plays that I've done that's on my channel. So I have a lot of fond memories of playing through the game, and I'm actively playing through another playthrough of it. So that's pretty much my experience. Oh, and it has the best Amiibo um, support ever. I'm just going to put that out right there right now. Yeah, I love Captain Toad Treasure Tracker as well. One of my favorite games. If I were to talk about it more, I'd be spoiling my list, so I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's a pretty good game. I mean, I I know I know I know where you guys told me to play. I know f for quite some time, you, you both you and and they get both James Rolls and they get you told me I should play and try it out, which I did. I mean, I didn't enjoy it as much as I guess they probably did, but still pretty decent fun game and everything. Just like I said, the reason's not on my top five, just that. I mean, it's, it's a good game, just that, and it has a new levels and all that, but, like, 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 uh, like the five on my list, I just prefer over, over that, over that, over the top five that I have on this list over that game, and, I mean, it is enjoyable to play and, and everything, but it's, it's not, but it's not, always, it's not the funnest of, 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 of a, it's not like the funnest Wii U game or anything. But still unique of its own. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. It's just that your opinion is wrong. Whatever. <laughs> uh. Any thoughts, Pancake? Well, I've never played the game, so I guess no, I have no thoughts. I do like to mention something, though. Yeah. <laughs> my dad had. My dad. Has has a shirt that said that says, that, "Hold on, to what exactly it said?" Um, it said, "Um, assume, assume that I'm, I'm right because it will save time." No, it says, "I'm a, I I am always right." Wait, assume that I'm always right because I save time, or it, it will save time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> On that note, any other thoughts on the number fours on each of our lists, or can we move on to number three? Captain Toad for class. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that settles it. All right, <laughs> moving on to number three. So we'll do the same order again. I'll keep repeating it because it's probably been like 20 minutes since we started mentioning our top fours, uh, our <laughs> fours on our top fives. <laughs> Anyway, so, number three on my list, speaking of Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, my number three is Super Mario 3D World. Uh, so, uh, Super Mario 3D World, uh, I don't really like it compared to its uh, predecessor, Super Mario 3D Land, uh, but still, I think it's pretty fun. The levels are challenging, especially towards the end, and... Uh, Crown Crown is pretty challenging as well, Champions Road. Um, but yeah, uh, I really like 3D World. Most of that had to do with Captain Toad levels, but it was pretty enjoyable overall. I liked the double cherry power-up, I liked the cat suit. Uh, it was a pretty good game. I really enjoyed playing it. I've only completed it once all the way through, but still, I had a pretty fun time doing it. And that's why it's number three on my list. Okay, yeah, my opinion about that game, 3D World, 3D World's a pretty fun game, but at the same time, I do like, like I said, like you, like you said, I do like 3D Land quite a bit better and everything than 3D World, but, and be, and I like um, Sunshine and Galaxy better than 3D Land and all that, because, just because I just like the um, more, like how, like the... The, just the 3D style of, you know, Sunshine, Galaxy, and 64, and all that, compared to, you know, like, 3D Land, or the 2D Mario games, or whatever. I just prefer, like, you know, Sunshine, Galaxy, or 64 type of style, type of game. Which, I, which I'm glad Odyssey's gonna, I mean, I'm glad that Mario Odyssey's gonna be something like Sunshine and Galaxy, and 64, for the, but, 
for the Switch, which is pretty nice. But still, still a fun game. But I just prefer the other 30, 30, previous 3D Mario games. Before, before 3D Land. Well, I guess the thing about 3D Land for me is, well, again, I've never played it. 3D World. But... 3D World, sorry. I have played 3D Land, though. Okay, 3D World, the thing about 3D World is I've never played it, so I really can't form an opinion on it. But it looks good. Uh, I actually was going to play it once, but the disc that I got was uh, defective or something. I don't really know. Yeah, that so sucks. I... That sucks. That's weird. Yeah, so that's why I never had a chance to play it. But yeah, maybe one yeah, my oh. yeah my Wii U came like I got my Wii U when I got my Wii U it came with uh, it came with 3D World. Sounds nice. And then then I bought then I bought Mario Kart 8 with it too when I got my Wii U. So I got the 3D bundle. I mean, got 3D World bundle, but with but I bought Mario Kart 8 with it <laughs> when I got it like two years ago or so or however long it was over two probably over two years now. Um, I always feel bad criticizing Super Mario 3D World because I really do enjoy the game, um, but um, I'd be lying if I was saying that it wasn't my uh, my favorite uh, Mario game. Um, but I will say this, if Super Mario Odyssey has 3D World power-ups, even if it's just a double cherry or anything like that, then Super Mario Odyssey will already be my new favorite Mario game, <laughs> because I love the power-ups in 3D World. Uh. It's just that my problems with that game is that it really does seem like it was made. It would it would have been um, better if it was on the 3DS or something like that. Um, but I am very happy that Rosalina is playable in the game because he's my favorite Mario character, and that's pretty much all everything I have to say about that game. Okay, so I guess go to my number three now. No, you can skip this round. Okay. <laughs> okay, but anyway, my number three is Super Mario Maker. Yay! Yeah, and and Super Mario Maker's a, a really a nice creative game. I mean, the reason why I like it over you know Super Mario 3D World and all that and stuff that nice thing about some Mario Maker is is that you create your own Mario levels like 2D, well 2D Mario style levels and all that which, are, which is fun to do and you can just have all so much creative stuff like my underwater death challenge which is which is probably the best video that <laughs> that, the, that the James Bulls ever did <laughs> but yeah and just just the creativity of the different levels you can have, and also having amiibo support in that game was pretty nice. Of all of all the different amiibos and all that. Anything, right? Yeah, but yeah, just the creativity and and just how diff how like this how levels can be super easy, super hard, or it's just because all the levels can vary. In, in difficulty, which is pretty nice, and also having the ch the the different challenges of like of of a, of completing the levels and all that, which is what which is why it's higher than fi my Twilight Princess and Silver Mine. Just that the it's just so much about the creativity of that game, pretty nice, and and challenging yourself of playing that game. Screw you and your underwater death challenge. <laughs> it was it was the best. It was great. It was great though. It was. Yeah. Well, something love about that was that when we were recording that video, I beat that level while you were recording that. Yeah, I know he did. And there wasn't there a comment. I don't know if it was by it wasn't by late get to you, but there was a comment that said first try <laughs> by some, some by someone else. You yeah, guys completed it in one try, which was pretty, fun. which was actually hilarious, though. Pancake should try it. 
Mm-hmm. Maybe I should. Um, Don't waste your time. Called the underwater death challenge. I, I, Don't maybe waste I your will time. I, I will. I will waste my time. You don't know how many hours I spend wasting my time either doing something or nothing. Yep. I tried saving you. You didn't listen. It's all your fault. Underwater. Okay. Just search underwater death challenge. That's what the level's called. All right. All right. Moving on. Moving you on. You need to I'll... search the code, not the name of the level. Anyway. <laughs> not, not, we're not doing that right now. <laughs> but hey, what's your guys' opinion about that game? I like Mario Maker. It's just not on my list. And also, it is cross-platform. It's on 3DS. Kind of lied when he said Shovel Knight was the only one. Well, I meant, I meant besides, you know, Nintendo, I guess. Because technically, because te technically, technically, well, I meant other besides Nintendo. I meant like you know, multi-platform with you know other consoles and like Steam and all that. Well, you should have said that originally. So because technically, yeah. because taking my number two is also you know multi-platform, but with the, with three DS. Spoilers. <laughs> But not, but in, in the Wii U, but not anything else, so. <laughs> Thanks, like this for the reason why we have two hour discussion videos. <laughs> yep. Don't worry, this one will top it. This will probably be five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. One for every number. <laughs> yeah, one for every number. Bizarre. Yep. Yeah, so, um, I really enjoyed Mario Maker and, um, it has one of my favorite Amigo um, functionality in the game. Um, now, despite the fact that I haven't played the game in a really long time, I still had a really fun time making the levels that I did make. Mm. Yeah, like, I guess, like, probably the level I made based off Link's Awakening was my favorite um, out of the ones that I did. Mm -hmm. yeah, I like that one as well as your Shovel Knight level. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm gonna hold back my opinion on Mario Maker. Why? Speak your mind. Um, I'm not gonna speak my mind about Mario Maker right now, but I can speak my mind about my number three on my list. If that's okay. <laughs> Great transition. <laughs> All right. There, there we go. Thank you. Learn a lesson from you. I am the transition master. Anyways. My number three is Super Smash Bros. 4. Why? Because it is ama an amazing game. Um, it's not really an improvement over Brawl. I still like Brawl better. But yeah. Super, Smash Bros. Super Smash Bros. 4 was definitely a good game. You know, from the roster to the levels to the fact that they tried to get the fans to uh, add a character as a DLC character into the game, which turned out to be Bayonetta. But I voted for her at least 20 times. <laughs> so, anybody who doesn't like Bayonetta being in the game, well, you can blame me, I guess. I don't know. Um, one thing I didn't really care for about Smash Bros. 4 was how most of the roster was sword fighters and Fire Emblem characters, which I think kind of takes away from the uh, creativity of choosing the fighters, but hopefully the next game, if there is a next game, will not have as many sword fighters or fire emblem characters. But, but swords are awesome. Uh, well, Snake is better, and he had a gun, and he wasn't in Super Smash Bros. Four. So Bayonetta yeah, Bayonetta has guns too. S your point. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, another thing is that. Super Smash Bros. 4, unlike Brawl, in my opinion, has characters that I just really uh, play as and like. Like, Mr. Game & Watch, in my opinion, is better in this game. Lucas is better in this game. I like the fact that they added Mewtwo. Dr. Mario is good, and Mario is better in this game. So overall, Super Smash Bros. 4 is definitely a good game. Yeah, I already gave my thoughts about Smash being in that it was my number five, but yeah, that's something I forgot to point out, the whole fan involvement thing with the uh, Super Smash Brothers fighter ballot. That was a really nice touch. Maybe they'll bring that back for uh, the Switch version. If there is one. Oh, we all know it's coming. Come on. Mm, yeah. 
Okay. 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 So switch. It's not like Sakurai's working on another Kid Icarus game. Or is he? Dun dun dun! Okay, he's not. <laughs> and he announces it at you three. There he is. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt the teaser for Smash Switch at E3. I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah. Switch. Yeah. I'm not snapping. That would be a lot of snapping. I'm not doing it. Doing it for you. Just continue the top three before we get to the... This is already like an hour long. Please don't make <laughs> it last five hours. <laughs> make it slow. Yeah, I'm accepted. It's fine. You Okay, fine, it's PJ's turn. <laughs> One thing I'd like to say about Smash Brothers before I say my number three. I was saying it's my waifu, and I'm very happy she's playable. Okay, number three. <laughs> um, my number three is uh, Hyrule Warriors. Uh, this is, with Breath of the Wild being multi-platform, um, this is like pretty much the closest we'll have to an original Zelda game on, on the Wii U. Even though they did eventually make the 3DS port, which I'm still kind of bummed about because the frame rate sucks in my game. But anyway, I will Warriors. It's awesome. Um, I really like the story in the game. Adventure mode is a blast to play. They have Marin and Girahim playable in this game. It is the best thing ever. But they have your favorite also in Tingle. You're dead to me. <laughs> maybe, maybe if they announce a Switch version, they can add, add an Navi, as a playable character. What? Navi's already in the game. Are yeah, you on it... narcotics? <laughs> but as a playable character. If they add Navi, they're gonna have to add Tattle, otherwise I won't be happy. <laughs> How would a fairy be able to... Never mind. You never I'm just know. imagining they have like a hey, single dot with space listen. and there's a giant sword next to it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, maybe, maybe he, maybe he, maybe. <gasps> wait, no, I'll wait. I'm not gonna say until I get to my number two. Sorry. Okay. Cause it started something Don't with you Gabby. Think about it. But yeah. I already know what your number two is. Don't you dare even suggest <laughs> it. Uh, <laughs> anyway, yeah. continue with Hyrule Warriors, please. Sorry to hijack your top three. Yeah. Well, that's pretty much all I wanted to say is that um, uh, Marin being playable is a, is a dream come true for me, pun totally intended, um, because um, she's, my, she's my favorite character in Link's Awakening. Giren is my favorite Zelda villain. Um, I really like the new characters in the game, especially Lana and Linko, because they're both just so adorable. But anyway, that's my opinion for that's all everything I want to say about Hyrule Warriors. So, on to our number twos. Hang well, on, we well, need but, to give well, thoughts about the Hyrule Warriors. Yeah, yeah, they get to you. And well, I agree with you. That. I agree with you about Hyrule Warriors. The 3DS frame rate sucks. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, um, Hyrule Warriors, I played... I, I had a friend that came over and brought it over, and it's pr pretty fun game. More of like a button smasher type of game, but it's fun, fun, still a fun, really fun game to play and everything. Despite I only played it once because I, I a friend bought it over once. <laughs> it's a fun game. And if I do ever do it, I might, hopefully they play a Switch version of the game and might end probably going to get it. Yeah, um, that's something that I'd like to say real quick. I really hope after Fire Emblem Warriors comes out, they make a Switch version of this game. Um, because I really want to be able to play the Adventure Mode maps on the 3DS with a decent frame rate because... I don't want to complain about it too much, but it, the frame rate just kills the 3DS version of the game for me. Okay, but yeah, that'd be not like I'll get the game when if if they do create a Switch version. Any thoughts, Pancake? Uh, shocker! It's another game I haven't played. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I might play it. It doesn't really interest me because it's just Dynasty Warriors. And I don't really care for Dynasty Warriors. I can see that. But it's Zelda themed. It's Zelda themed, but it's not a Zelda game. 
Well, it's a spin-off, so it's not really supposed to play like a traditional game. Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, wait. What was that? Pancake? What were you saying? I just said okay. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What'd you say? What'd you say, fuck? Okay. All right, children, let's calm down as we move on to number two. <laughs> So starting okay. with me, once again, we'll go in the same order. Uh, my number two is a game related to my number three, and I alluded to this a little earlier uh, in someone else's choice of this game being in their top five. Gee, I wonder who. <laughs> anyway, uh, my number two is Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. I really, really love this game. I Like I mentioned before with 3D World at number three, I loved the Captain Toad levels, and when the full game was announced, I literally jumped out of my seat in joy, um, and I just love playing through each of the individual levels. Uh, I love the, uh, like later Gator you alluded to, the amiibo functionality, the hide-and-seek, and the books are really neat. Uh, Mummy Me Maze Forever can go die, though, uh, but other than that, I really enjoyed Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker. And it's one of my favorite Wii U games of all time, and it's probably, I'd say it's around the top 20 for all-time favorite games. So, yeah, that's why Captain Toad Treasure Tracker's number two for me. Okay. Any, yeah, I agree. Any opinions? <laughs> well, yeah, I uh, think we already uh, shared ours when later Gator yeah. knew <laughs> yeah. his, so... Yeah. I guess we can just move on to your number two there, Brandon. Yep. And my, <laughs> number, and my number two is Smash. <laughs> oh, my number two is Smash Four for the Wii U and 3DS. And like I said, Smash Four is a pretty, uh, pretty fun game. Uh, it added a bunch of a pretty good, really good roster, plus adding a bunch of DLC, pretty good DLC characters like Cloud or Bayonetta, and and plus Mewtwo. <laughs> There's a bunch of those playable characters. It's a fun game with fun story. Not well, fun not story, but like fun levels or well stages, and and everything. It's just it's just Smash, it's Smash Brothers. It's really fun to play. <laughs> Especially, com- especially competitively. The w- w- downside about Smash 4 is there's no, like, story-based adventure mode, like, you know, and like in Brawl with the subspace. Which was yeah, I am bummed about that. Which is, pu- which is why I prefer Brawl, which is why Brawl's my fit Smash Brothers game. Because c- of the subspace. And, like, and, like, like, how, um... And like some of the and some of the characters that they don't have in Smash Four that they had in Brawl, which I'm glad that some of the characters they had in Melee they brought back for Smash Four, but but yeah, maybe 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 having maybe if they hopefully they do Smash Five for the Switch or a four, or a four or a Smash Four port, but it'd be nice to see maybe Smash Five and have the Ice Climbers back. No. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. No. No. It's no, inevitable. No. Smash Switch is happening. Ice Climbers will be back. They'll probably try to get Snake back. They'll probably have yeah. Pichu back. Yeah. No but, Ice Climbers. Like I, like, I, like I said earlier, when with when they when we were talking about Smash earlier, Navi can be for Smash. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Navi and Tattle. Yep. Navi. No, if any and partner it, and it, from and it, the and Zelda it, series is going to be added. It has to be Minna. And 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 um, and the final smash of Navi would be, hey, listen. No, no, no. You know, just shoot you know, around and just, and just keeps annoying you and all that. You know, be, you know, would be even better than that. Um, you yeah. remember the Rossetti trophy in Super Smash Bros. Brawl? It would be amazing if Navi ended up being an assist trophy, and if he appears, all he does is just say. Hey, listen, hey, listen. <laughs> and it causes 100% damage each time Navi says something. Oh, wow. Yes, that would be amazing. 
But joke aside, I'm looking forward to what, what I'm looking forward to to see what they'll do with with a future Smash game for the Switch, and what and what characters if they add, do add any. If it's if it's like a brand new Smash game, I would like to see what new kids are added, or what or if possible, what kids are added in this ones if they do just a, a Smash Four port. Use the graphic label, please. Let the graphic label. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I hope. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess they do have cloud, so and smash. No, cloud sucks. Cloud is awesome. Triggered. Yeah. No, he sucks. <laughs> He's awesome. Cloud's pretty I awesome. I guess everybody's entitled to their opinion. I guess. Yep. Even though, even though some of their opinions are wrong. Uh huh. <gasps> But yeah, Smash, Smash 4 is a nice, fun game. But anyway, that's pretty, that's pretty much why like I said I said I do prefer Ball over Smash 4. Yeah. But that's pretty much just... Well, I know that's... Well, I know a lot of people, their favorite is Melee. And that Ball's the least favorite, but... Yes. Nope, my, my favorite's Ball, no matter what. Melee. <laughs> I agree. This Melee's is... trash. Let's tr- ju- let's just trigger everybody. <laughs> Spy, I think I only played like Melee like once when the friend bought over once because I never because I never owned Melee, but I do own Ball and um and Smash Four. This video is gonna get one k dislikes. One <laughs> k <1K> dislikes, <laughs> and only five likes. <laughs> yeah, I know those dislikes are gonna rock on, you. rock on, <laughs> rock on. <laughs> Okay. Um, or walk off. Wait, wait, yeah. If it gets five dislikes, who's the fifth person that the four of us are going to be liking it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. four, four of us are my friend. <laughs> One of my best friends just likes it. I have no friends. <laughs> that sounds very sad. Besides, I feel besides, sorry. Besides us, besides us three. <laughs> Who are you people? Patrick. Where am I? Oh, man. No, we're not starting that. Move on to pancakes number two. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, extra syrup. With extra syrup. Okay. My number two of extra syrup is Twilight Princess HD. This has to be one of the best ports of Twilight Princess ever. In my opinion, of course. Well, it's, uh, only, it's the only port of Twilight Princess. No, there was the Wii port. But that no, that came out at the same time as um, the GameCube version, though. No, I think it was right. It was originally made for the GameCube, and then it just, they just ported it over to the Wii at the last minute, and then they made the remake. Yeah. So, 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 I mean, yeah. but still Don't came out at the same time. Don't ever talk back to your pancakes, mister. Sorry. <laughs> so, I just, so, I just, so, I, so I just was too hungry. Okay, so anyways... I love Twilight Princess. It is so far my favorite Zelda game out of the whole series. I guess I just like the darker uh, tone of it. But, like I said, this is the best port of it. I never played the GameCube version, but the Wii version I did play. Same. And and every time I remember the Wii version, I just get a sour taste in my mouth because I didn't like it. Because... The pointer was a fairy, and I was on the screen throughout the whole. <laughs> yeah, this is the best version because I think it is HD. Well, no, not because it's HD. Yes, it does look better, but I don't know. I, this is just the best version, and Twilight Princess, really good game. Mhm. Yeah, pretty nice game. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, my opinion about Twilight Princess is a little weird. Um, it's my least favorite of the 3D Zelda games, but <gasps> I but I still really love it. It's easily one of my favorite games ever. My problem with it is that it's mostly just to do with the game's opening. It takes a really long time to get to a dungeon I actually like. Um, but I think the Wii version fixed a lot of the problems that I did have. Um, one example I can think of off the top of my head is that in the Wii version, um, there's a fist you had to catch. Um, um, to give to a cat, 
Uh, you, had to, you had to catch the abyss twice in the Wii version, but in the Wii U version, you only had to catch it once. So minor things like that here and there are what make me really enjoy the Wii U version more. Uh, but yeah, I have I have played the Wii version before I played the Wii U version, and and the Wii when the Wii I mean the Wii version was still fun to play, just that the on the way, the also the map was flipped. Yeah, which is kind of interesting. Just the map was flipped compared to the compared to the GameCube or the Wii U version. Unless unless you play Hero Mode on the Wii U version. All right, let me go on a little rant for a moment, real quick. Why is it cool? to hate the motion controls on Skyward Sword, but it is not cool to hate the motion controls in the Wii version of Twilight Princess. Mm. That's reasons. The control, because the motion controls in Skyward Sword, the sword play was awesome. But in Twilight Princess, you just wiggle it. You, you don't even have to aim or anything like that. It just wiggle it, and then that sounds very wrong, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, but either way, um... I just didn't like the sword controls in the Weaver, and I think that's another thing that kind of ruined the experience of the original. Um, I'm pretty sure had I played the Wii U version first, I would have liked it a lot more. But uh, it's just I don't like the sword controls in the Wii version. Mm. All right. Since I don't think anybody has any other thoughts, later Gator to you. How about you close out the number twos? Yeah. In the bathroom. <laughs> I'm not adding a ding. Ding! <laughs> I already did. <laughs> I'm, I'm scrubbing it from the video. Hey! Do that! You can't do that! Ding dong, ding dong, ding 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 dong. Donuts. Anyway, it also um, takes me to press one button and this recording just goes bye bye forever. <laughs> bye bye! We'll have to restart bye, bye, bye bye! Bye bye! Anyway, anyway Later Gator to you, your number two, please. Save us from this wretchedness. <laughs> of hell. Right. My number two is uh, Tokyo Mara Assassin's uh, Sharp FE. This is my favorite RPG on the Wii U, which is saying something when you have um, games like Xenoblade Chronicles X on there. Um, I'm not counting Virtual Console because Earthbound would probably be like, um, let's take like the top six spots of my top five RPGs. Um, but anyway, I love Tokyo Mirage Sessions. It, it, it's really over the top uh, anime esque, and I really love that because, like, uh, um, you have a bunch of, like, um, young young adults uh, in trying to get into the media, trying to get into the entertainment industry in Japan, and they're also fighting demons. It is just so cool. I love the combat system. I love the overall in the game. I love the story. I love the art style. I love the music. I love Tsubasa. Everything about the game is awesome. But I do have one complaint about it. It's very minor. Um, it's more nitpicky. Um, say what you will about the censorship, it doesn't bother me, but there is one thing that does. There's a boss fight early on in the game um, in the um, 2D animated uh, cin cin um, cinematic for this part of the game. There's like a cloud of puffy smoke covering um, this one character's uh, chest. But when you go into battle, um, the in-game sprite doesn't have that. So, so like, what was the point of adding in the cutscene? But other than that, Tokyo Mario Sessions is perfect, and it's awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Yeah, my opinion about that game is I haven't played it, so I don't, and plus I don't know anything about it. So, there's my opinion about that game. That was the best opinion ever. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yeah, I can't really form an opinion of it because the only thing I know about Tokyo Mirage Session Sharp FE is like there's this weird anime musical during like the final battle or something. It is amazing. That's yeah, like the only thing I know about the game and like it I mean it is amazing, don't get me wrong. When I watched it, I couldn't stop watching it, but other than that, I don't know nothing about the game, so. Yeah, the, the only thing I know about that game is that it's a we we use Nintendo game. That's it. That's a lot of information. Wow. Yep. <laughs> mm hmm. Bob, well, what about you, Pancake? 
Never played it. Never will. Have no interest. I'm done. I'm not gonna get. On, I'm not gonna get in on it. All right. Now for the top ones. Uh, All right. Well, uh, Pancake, you, did you have something else to say? I said yay. Okay. Uh, well, this is interesting uh, because myself and Later Gator to you have the same number one. So, uh, Later Gator to you, do you want to reveal it at the same time? Pepsi Man! <laughs> yeah. Future me, edit that out. No. All right. You uh, stole. You stole okay. my. You stole. You stole it, lady. Get to you. Stole uh-huh. my plan. Should we count down from three and then both say it at the same time? Sure. Uh, let me just do a quick little intro thing. Uh, so my number one, one of my favorite games of all time, uh, probably. One of the better Wii U games ever, uh, and I can't wait for the next game in this series. So, uh, you ready to reveal it? Yep. Alright, in three, three, two, two, one, one, Splatoon. Splatoon! Splatoon, the original, the sequel I cannot wait for, uh, but I really love the, it's Nintendo's first, like, real shooter. Like, their own stab at the shooter genre, and it's so fun. It is absolutely fun to play multiplayer uh, on the various modes you can play. Turf War, uh, Splat Zones, Rainmaker, Tower Control, and the single player is really good, too. Uh, I The only complaint I have about it is the single player is too short for my liking. Hopefully that's fixed in Splatoon 2. Uh, the weapons are awesome. Just everything about Splatoon, I really, really enjoyed. And, uh, like I said, I it's one of my favorite games ever. I can't wait for Splatoon 2 on the Nintendo Switch. And, uh, hopefully Octolings become playable in that one, because that's really my only other complaint about Splatoon. Uh, later, Gator to you, since we have the same top one, I guess you can share your thoughts on it before we move on to, uh, the others' opinions. Splatoon is awesome! Um, I love this game so much. It's, there's a reason it's number one on my list, because it's, it's just so awesome. I really like uh, most of the multiplayer modes. The single-player campaign is one of my favorites um, for this type of game. The amiibo functionality is one of my favorites um, for any game that I've played, even though I still think Captain Toad has the best uh, amiibo functionality. Um, whatever you like is in Turf Wars, you don't aim at your enemies, you're aiming at the ground. So, that's something that I really like because, um, well, I lost my train of thought, but, um, my only real complaints about the game is that I don't like tower control and, uh, port macro is my least favorite stage of the game. Um, but other than that, um, some of my favorite memories of the game was playing through the Splatfest, uh, because, um, they had some really fun themes for the game. They had SpongeBob and Patrick, uh, and uh, they had Cali versus Murray, which, say what they will, Cali is the best quiz sister. No! Haters. Factually incorrect! <laughs> Cali is the best quiz sister. Who Just- won the Splatfest? Which team won the Splatfest? <laughs> exactly! Hmm. Hell, those people cheated! <laughs> yeah, uh, I love Splatoon, and I'm really looking forward to the sequel on Nintendo Switch, and that's pretty much everything I wanted to say about the game. Team okay. Forever. Anyway, Brandon, on to you now. Well, yeah. Okay. Okay, my opinion about Splatoon, well, I haven't played it, or I don't own it, but I've seen gameplay for it. And it looked pretty fun game and everything, because I'm not planning on getting Splatoon, the original, well, one part of the reason because the Wii U's pretty much dead now, <laughs> but I might try out Splatoon and get Splatoon when it comes out, though, or shortly, or sometime after it comes out and try the game out, because, I mean, I heard so much good things about Splatoon and everything, that I'm, I'm like, just the reason I haven't got it yet, because still it was still like $60 or so on 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 the Wii U, so 
reason why I don't own the game. And but I'm but I'm gonna but I'm gonna but I'm gonna but I'm gonna try, but I'm gonna try out split maybe try out sub sub Splatoon two and see if I like it because I heard it's a really good game just so not can't really say that much about it besides I just hear it's a really good game and it actually does look kind of fun to play though. Every time one of us says um, that we use dead, we just have a picture of a. Um, Gravestone that says "We Want It" um, with a with a sad, a violent song from SpongeBob playing in the background. No. <laughs> um, I'm not doing that extra editing. Okay, my opinion on Splatoon. It is really good. Um, it's really charming. The weapons are creative. It's all in all a really good game. Um, the concept's a little confusing, squid shooting ink at each other, but... Well, it's not really confusing, it's a little odd. But, it's really good. It's a really good game. And I'm really excited for the sequel. Alright. Any other opinions? No. Cali is the best squid since our search of humans, James. Okay, moving Team on! Marie for <laughs> life! Mary is the best. Okay, my number one is... Pepsi Man! <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's not Pepsi Man, but I'd be awesome if it, if it was. Maybe, it, would be, maybe, maybe it's, it probably would be my top, my top, my number one PS1 game, though. <laughs> but, but joke aside, my actual number one is Mario Kart 8. Yeah. yeah Mar- Shocker. Which is, the, I mean, which is Mario Kart 8's a really fun game with it's just a really fun game and I, just more, I always loved Mario Kart and everything and just the different stages of in Mario Kart 8 and everything and just all the different characters you can play as as well as like the DLC tracks are pretty nice and unique as well. It's just it's just a really fun game. It's supposed to be a really fun game to play with friends and everything. Like I said, I done a let's play my, on my channel, for so and that was really fun. And I really enjoyed it when I was let's playing the game and everything. And and I can't wait for like the 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 Wii U version. No, not the Wii U. The Switch ver- The Switch. <laughs> it's, it's already for, it's already for the Wii U. I can't wait for the Switch version. Of the game and everything, and see and see what what new what other stuff they'll add to it if they or adding anything else besides what they announced what they're adding. But yeah, but yeah, yeah and I hopefully may they have a Mario Kart Nine in the future as well for the for the Switch. Be nice to see and everything, and or or adding other DLC or like I also like the addition with the two hundred CC, which made which made it. It a lot like the race is a lot faster and more challenging and everything, but yeah, but yeah, more, more it's a blast to play. Really, really I mean, more is probably one if one of the best Mario Kart games there is. I don't, I don't know if it's the best, but it's one, what's up there? What's up? It's up there with more Kart Double Dash because Double Dash was fun too. But Mario Kart 8 is also fun with with all the stuff it added that was new, like like the um, what that the gravity anti gravity was fun, and also those stuff from previous installments was fun. Yeah, I I like Mario Kart 8. I wouldn't call it a favorite of mine, but yeah, it's, like, if you want to sit down and relax and just play something, like, I'd probably consider that top three games to relax with among Yoshi's Woolly World and Captain Toad, so that's something, I guess? Nobody else has Awkward any Awkward <laughs> <laughs> Um... Well, I guess I'll go first. Um, I really enjoy Mario Kart 8. Um, I have very fond memories with it because um, when I was in the middle of, towards the end of my Galaxy 2 Let's Play, 
um, Greg Purple's Gaming asked me to uh, watch his Mark Hardy Let's Play. This is how we met. Yeah. And so, yeah, and so I watched it, and that was pretty uh, decent. So, um, like, two over two years later, we're still talking about video games because I don't have a life. <laughs> yep, or we don't have a life. Yeah. And who knows? Maybe I'll do the Switch. There's a Switch version of Mario Kart 8 or Mar or Mario Kart 9 or a or older installment of a Mario Kart game. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because yeah, I, I really do. I really did enjoy my Mario Kart 8. Let's play. Mario Kart. Mario Kart 8 is really good. That's all I have to say. Yeah, it is. Which is why it's my number one. This mm -hmm. is so great game, and just like I always, I despite I mean the only Mario Kart game I have not played is the original Mario Kart for the Super Nintendo. So, but I played all of them. I played all of them since the sixty four. Nice. I have I have one more thing to say about Mario Kart Eight. Great game, gaming. I hate you because of that one time that we raced together on two hundred sixty mode with bomb bombs only. <laughs> that was a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> mm. That was fun. Or the part, or the part where, where, where the Wimbo World comes. The Super, the Super Nintendo Wimbo World. SNES Wimbo Road on two hundred CC on two hundred CC. You are dead to me. <laughs> oh, uh, that'd be hard. All right, Pancake, looks like you're rounding us out with the number one. What's it going to be? Right. It is... Super Mario Maker! No! <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I thought it was going to be Pepsi Man. Oh, well, Pepsi Man came close. It was really close. Next to Harave, the video game of Coca-Cola. But Future James, make sure you cut out Green Cobra's gaming and Pancake Armor Man's commentaries. Thank you. Oh, please. No! <laughs> Future Lady Gary, do you add their commentary in as bloopers? No. Yeah. Yeah. Future Lady Gary, to you, keep this in. Yep. He's anyway, getting the video file that I edit, so. Ha! Well, give him the no, last one. Oh, words I won't say on the internet. Nope. Anyways, the reason Super Mario Maker is my number one is because it's very creative, and I love making my own levels and playing other people's levels. And ever since this game was announced, I have been itching to play it like crazy. I've been crazy about playing it and now that I finally played it it's like it made it to my number one and it's like my favorite Wii U game now which is a little uh, uh it will be kind of sad when the Wii U shuts off his internet because now you won't be able, then you won't be able to play it anymore but still it's really fun well and it's really fun to play other people's levels really fun to create your own really creative and that's just about it I think we still have a couple years before Nintendo decides to shut down the Wii U's uh, internet capabilities, so I think we're safe for at least two years. Maybe. Yeah, and by then we'd probably already get a Mario Maker sequel for the Switch, so it's not really going to be all that big of a deal. Yeah, maybe. Or, or a Mario Maker port. Yeah, that'd be nice. Every U Wii U game's getting ported over. We already know this. Yep. Pokemon Assassin's for Switch. Please let that happen. Twilight Princess for the Switch. Super Princess Peach for the Switch. Yes. <laughs> Pepsi, Pepsi Man for I, the Switch. I was just joking. No. <laughs> yeah, Pepsi Man for the Switch. Ronde for Switch. Never. <laughs> yeah. B, B movie for the Switch. Yeah. Future <laughs> me, continue editing this out. No. <laughs> Future no, never. Never. Like, never. It's going to take a long time for you to edit it out. So That's no. okay, I'll do it. No, you won't, because it'll take Yeah, we're the, pro, we're the okay. pros of editing. We know how to do stuff. No, the you pros don't. Of it, with one million subscribers. 
<laughs> like, comment, subscribe. And and growing. Yeah, um, love, you love my... Comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Because I'm doing my Slack Cooper and my Puma Let's Play right now on my channel. We have so, honorable mentions. So Don't close the video yet. Sell so it! Sorry. <laughs> so, but anyway, check out my channel. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> and if you're on Vimeo, upvote. Uh, folk, oh my Jesus! You're going through the whole outro sequence. <laughs> Kidding. And follow. So are we doing the video today, or because I thought we had honorable mentions? I, uh, honorable mentions. My honorable mentions. Hang on, let me scroll up on the file so I can read it off. My honorable mentions: Mario Kart 8, Super Mario Maker. I'm done with this video. Wow, that's depressing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I honorable see my mentions. own mentions? Name your honorable mentions in the order that we just had, and then we'll end off the video. That's I'm crossing Meeple Festival, Bayonetta 2, Mario Kart 8, Paper Mario Kart Plus. They are awesome. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> I'm on mentions. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Okay. My honorable mentions, uh, Super Luigi U, Bayonetta 2, Splatoon, Mario Kart 8, um, Shantae and the Pirate's Curse, Shantae Rescue's Revenge. Alright, so that is it for the top 5 discussion. I don't think it lasted 2 hours like the Nintendo Switch discussions, but hey, easier <laughs> on me to edit! Yay! Clap for joy! Arambe will help you edit. <laughs> will you stop? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, um, Pinky Garman has been joking about that all, all night. Oh. I'm done now. I'm gonna trigger so many people on the internet. Harambe is dead. Let him live in peace. In death. Okay. Please! Okay. It's not funny! <laughs> I'm on by for 2020. <laughs> Future me, I yeah. hope you cut this all out and you just went to the uh, post commentated outro at this point because this is fucking ridiculous. What <laughs> <laughs> uh, if we apologized and made you a cake? It's too late to apologize. It's too late. Too late to apologize. Sure enough, really, we're gonna have you. terrible singing in this too. <laughs> <laughs> it's our problem free. The last time I could have a problem. Okay. <laughs> Let it go. Let yep, it go. That's it. Ending it off now. Let I think we should end the video. Back anymore. Let that's it go. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, let's end the video yeah. like professional. <laughs> By the way, I'm Green Covers Gaming. I'm Pinky Gummer Man. I'm Larry Gary to you. And this has been our top five. Are you seriously not gonna let me do an outro? <laughs> no one cares. Are you house. fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what happened? Hey, I think he's turned out. Did he stop his the toe? Yellow video all over again. Did he stub his toe again? <laughs> Hello? Subscribe for more content. <laughs> yeah, like, comment, and subscribe to all of, to all of our three channels. I think the James Rolls died. There are four of us. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Turn to next time. I'm gonna give it to you. Oh, oh my yeah. God, we're still doing Green Coast, outros. Green Coast Gaming. <sighs> Thank you, Garmin. I'm out. Bye. Bye bye. And I'll see you next time. Fuck off. Get out of here. Stop watching. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's awesome. I think that was the best outro we've ever done in a video. Yeah.